Hi everyone, and welcome to part one of the van conversion series. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I just wanted to jump in here quickly as I was editing this video and say a massive, massive thank you to everybody out there who liked and subscribed after last week's video. Uh, you might remember I put a little plea at the end saying this is how we're hoping to make money in the future so we can uh, finance these travels that we want to go on. And you all came through. Thank you so much. We went from just shy of 700 subscribers and we've rocketed past 1,000 to 1,130, I think, at last count. And over 5,000 views on that last video, which for our size channel is unheard of. That's more than double any of our other previous well-performing videos. So I can't thank you enough. Keep it up. Let's keep going. And uh, right, back to the video. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13-year-old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel, and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cosy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. rivets need to be uh, drilled out and then I think it all comes as one big solid lump and then we'll try and sell it. Let's go. This one. Nothing's ever easy is it? Right so we got those bits out, that was simple. But these, these will not come out. They are fixed, uh, obviously, with a nut underneath the van, and those ones are just rusted solid. So I'm gonna leave them plates and just try and take this out of uh, here. That moves, but I've got one here that won't. I'm gonna have to grind it. still left there. Uh, it's about time for me to make some food. I don't think I've got the energy for that right now. That's going to be a tomorrow thing. The other thing we're trying to do is get the cat used to the van. So she's got treats and she's been invited in to have a little snack. Ella did it last night with her because eventually when we do go down to grandma's we're going to be taking the cat with us. So I want her to start to feel that this, this is her second home. You right mittens? All right, I clearly lied. I'm keeping going. I want this plate off, okay? Now, John and I have managed to get one off. It's very difficult with me underneath. I'm gonna end up just grinding most of them, I think. He's just popped off. He'll be back in a minute, but I'm gonna do a bit of grinding. there. <laughs> I was waiting for a big fanfare but you were just slow and steady. <laughs> right put it in there with the rest of it. So there we go. 
That was just rust from that bracket by the looks of things. I think we're all right, look. Very, very light. That will very quickly sand back. Oh, just grab these bits, John. We'll have to put them in the box for whoever buys it. No, that's just surface. Look at that. That's just surface rust. That's from the bracket that came off. <sighs> optimistic, optimistic. Some of these little screw holes. Oh, that's blown a bit. That's nothing. That'll just grind back and treat. Happy! Right, that's great. I was a bit worried about that. That looked like quite a lot of rust there, but it was mostly on the, uh, the plate that was holding that thing in. This time it is time to get some food. And I think that's it for today. We'll see. I might come out here in the dark, but I won't be filming then. See you tomorrow. Okay, it is not tomorrow or the next day. It's about a week later, actually, because what we found was we came out the following day to get on with some work and we just couldn't, could we, dude? No. Because this garage was just piled up high with just stuff. And it occurred to me, if we're going to spend the next few months doing this van, we need to get organised. So John and I spent the best part of the next two days completely clearing this out and selling loads of things that we are not going to be needing, that we won't be taking to France with us. And we haven't quite finished yet, but we've got to do something on the van. I've started getting this racking ready. Uh, this is all van related stuff I've been getting delivered. I've got my Sikaflex, I've got wires, I've got the sound dampening sheets, pliers, uh, conduit for the, uh, for the wiring. But uh, yeah, otherwise we haven't done anything else on the van yet. So we are gonna to begin today, mister. We're gonna take these white panels off the wall because I wanna check on the back of the trims. The black trims that go around, the sprinters are notorious for the fact that the little holes in the body where they are clipped in, they are prone to rust. So I need to check all these things. Unfortunately, before we can start building, we've got to do boring stuff like checking everything for rust and patching up the rust where it is. And then I'd like to think we can get this floor up today and see if there's anything under there, which I know already there's holes from the dropouts that are in there and this stuff at the back. But I need to assess it, see how bad it is, and then we can start patching it. side off we've just got this one to do but most importantly is the inspection now, I haven't had a proper look myself but uh, these bits that I was concerned about you see these are the clips from the back of the trims and they're notorious for letting water in as you can see water has run but when we first took the panel off I thought that was rust but it looks like it has been treated with wax oil before they put them side panels on so what I thought was rust is just goo. Water has run into the, ugh, water's run down into the wax oil and there's a bit of damp in there. So we're gonna have a do a bit of cleaning and I will pull the trims off and I will put silicon and seal them properly. But that is good news. Do you see any rust anyway, John? Now under this here, under this trim there looks like a little bit, but it's surface. It's really just surface that, nothing to worry about there. Now if you remember from Sally's van, she had quite nasty rust down the sides here. It seems to be okay, which is what we were hoping. Why, we spent a hell of a lot more money on this van is so we wouldn't have to go through all the rust and rigmarole. There's been a lot of pot rivets through, the, through here. They've got a little bit of rust on them, but it's really nothing. It's all surface from what I can see. So, it's good news! All right, they're all out. John's taking a quick break. Um, swept up. Now, I've got to get the bolts out on this floor. Now, if you remember on Sally's van that we did uh, a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, uh, they were quite tricky. I've already done a couple and they're a bit easier, so hopefully there's no grinding this time, but we'll see. Okay, those 
ones are reluctant. Excuse me, can I just come here? Thank you. Those ones are easy. You need more like that. Last one, are you ready to lift the floor out, mister? <laughs> Although I think there's some rivets going through which might stop us. We'll find out in a minute. So yeah, there's a few rivets, we've just got to get those. Which means lots of little holes all over the bottom of the van, which is not what I was hoping for. But, you know, it could be a heck of a lot worse. Hopefully that's it, it'll come out now, fingers crossed. Well, first of all, let's see if there's anything in the lift. Right, the back's good. It's really stinky here, this is where I was having a problem. Oh. Yeah, so these dropouts uh, in the floor have got pipes welded to the bottom of them and I could not get those screws out and I had enough so I just gave up with the screwdriver and being nice and I decided it was time to use brute force. <laughs> Hello. Right, it's up, look. And while John holds it, because he's good at that, aren't you? Well done, mister. Quick first impression, uh, inspection, sorry. Where there was these big dropouts, it could be worse. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grind that back, um, seal it up. Oh, now, I don't know whether I'm just gonna patch that with something myself. I'm open to any suggestions any of you might have out there. I know there's glass fiber options, there's the putty stuff, it's quite a big hole. Or I have to pay someone to weld it, and if I do, that's fine, because I can't weld. I want to learn to weld, but I have to buy a welder. I don't want to do that right now. Also here, something has trickled down and through at some point, and that looks like surface rust here. So not too bad, I think that'll clean off. I think we're okay there. And then there's actually a pool of, pool of water there. I'm assuming it's water. It was a pharmaceutical truck, it could be anything. <laughs> but this thing, I think we need to break it in half. It's got a seam down the middle. I'm assuming it just pops apart or we just gently encourage it apart. And I don't know what to do with it. It's actually good wood. I might be able to use it for some of the build. Right, when in doubt, Get the power out. <laughs> uh, we can't get this thing to break in half and between John and I we can't lift it down physically out the back of the van and into the garage or anything so I'm just going to chop it in half. It's a shame but well, it's happening. Bit. I'm 
get the last bit by hand. Okay, here we go. Yay! Let's get it out. Right, sir. <clears throat> right, John's going to get that swept out. I'm going to mop up that water. And then let's take the bulkhead out. Let's do it all. Yeah, should we do it? Yeah. Right, before he gets noisy with the hoover, I'm just going to tell you, I've actually decided I'm going to take off these little trims here and the step over there and possibly the ones in the front because I know they can all hold water and get rusty, so... I'm going to do that Then the bulkhead's for dessert. I've got to do these bits I can't be bothered with so we can do the exciting bit. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with that. Right, I'm trying to be very clever and organized on this build, which is not like me normally. I just go ah, and throw things and rip things apart. I am collecting fittings and bolts and things as we take them off and I am gonna categorize them. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure they've got their own little label and I know exactly where they've come from because I'm just realizing I'm gonna be taking that many little trims and bits and fittings off. I need to know where they go back. Is that sensible? I think that's really sensible. Oh. Right, they've got these really fiddly little plastic covers which are all very pretty because they they match the tread. There we go, got it, got it, got it. But you don't seem to be able to help but do a little bit of damage as you're getting them out. I'm sure when they first put them in in the factory they were lovely. But they're really difficult to get out without uh, damaging the practice. I'm uh, damaging the plastic. I'm sure someone in the comments would like to tell me a wonderful way of getting these out after I've done them. But I, I am open, I am open to hearing about it because I might have to take them out in the future, but I can't think of any better way. I've tried the screwdriver, I'm on the Stanley knife, and there we go, they're out, yay! Got it. Now from what I've seen on YouTube, oh look there's more. <laughs> Water can pool under these. Oh, these are all different, keep track of what's what. Those ones went with that. Those ones are the same as that. Water can pool in these, so I want to know. Do we have water? Can this even come out with all? Oh, goodness me, I'm gonna have to move even more. <laughs> right, here we go, down there, John. Oh, it's just stick behind that. It's okay, it's just dirty. Double decker, someone's been having a double decker. Da, da, da. Yes, it's just dirty and bits of plasticky. Great stuff. It's good news, good news, good news all round. The side step that you saw there, I don't know if you saw that yet. This is all completely rust free. Down here in the footwell, rust free. The um, driver's side, hang on, just move around our mud patch. Driver's side, bit dirty, but nothing in there, no rust, no anything, just a bit of dirt to clean out. Right, the L has returned. Hi. L's been at her art group with her best friend, Emily. And uh, yeah, she's come to join us while we drop the bulkhead 
I have taken all the bolts out apart from one at the top. So let's have it out, shall we? Yes. Right. stuck at the bottom for some reason. Something holding it at the bottom. <clears throat> Wait, can you hold it there? All right, scratch that for a while. We found a load of what looked like rivets. I'll get closer, there might be screws on the other side, on the bottom, I don't know how I'm gonna to get to them. I'll check back with you in a minute. All right, last one coming. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> right, I guess we'll have to come out this way. This thing's heavy. Right, I've got this end. Can you get on that end? Yep, I can. We have to get it out without damaging anything. Right. So look at that! It looks huge now! <laughs> it just keeps going. Don't trip over, don't trip over. <gasps> look at it from the other side. Oh, look at it from there. How's that, hell? Does it look huge? Huge among us. Yep. Hello. So I had to just cut that shot short because I started talking to the camera about our imminent trip to France, which is now cancelled. So we're a few days later, I've been speaking to grandma. In her old age, bless her, she has forgotten the dates we were coming and she's double booked us with other family members. We could go, it sounds like it would be a bit too much for her from the way she's speaking. Um, there's not enough room for everyone to sleep in the house. We could sleep in the van, but it really sounds like it's not ideal. So we're gonna sack off that trip to France. <laughs> Last minute, good job. I didn't buy the ferry tickets, isn't it really? Um, so, guess what we'll be doing? We're going to stay here and we're going to work on the van. We're going to start looking at the rust and then we're going to start looking at building a floor. So next video, rust. This is good news in some ways. I think the universe was talking to me because I knew that the time would have been better spent on the van, but I really wanted to go and see her. We promised her we'd see her early this year, but as she's forgotten, okay, never mind. We're going to work on the van. So anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you one more time for everyone who subscribed and liked the last video. It just went through the roof. If we can push this one the same, I just, yeah, we're gonna be monetized before we know it and we're gonna be able to start making a little bit of money from YouTube by the time we get on the road and start traveling. And it's all thanks to you guys. We appreciate it so, so much. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. No, thanks.